Insaldo was one of Italy's oldest and most important engineering companies, existing for 140 years from 1853 to 1993. Topic from foundation to World War I The company was founded in 1853 as GEO. Insaldo and CSAS by renowned players in the Genoese business world, such as Giovanni Insaldo, Raffaele Rubitino, Giacomo Filippo Penco and Carlo Bombrini. Until the end of the 19th century, the company focused on manufacturing and repairing railway components, quickly becoming a 10,000 worker company with seven factories, and starting to expand into sectors such as shipbuilding and mechanical works in general. In 1904, Insaldo was bought by Ferdinando Maria Peroni who, along with his sons Mario and Pio, bound the name of the Peroni family to the history of the company. Over the next 20 years, he aimed at making Insaldo fully independent both in the ironworks and weapon-making areas, thanks to strong vertical integration. The onset of World War I was of obvious potential benefit to the company, though Italy was initially neutral. Insaldo advocated for Italian entry into the war, both directly and by funding political groups that supported the war, such as Benito Mussolini's proto-fascist movement. The efforts paid off when Italy entered the war. In 1914 the company was worth 30 million lire, but its market value grew to 500 million in 1918. When the company issued shares in the summer of 1918 worth 400 million lire and Saldo employed 80,000 workers, had dozens of factories and controlled companies such as A. Cerpelli and C., Banca Industriale Italiana, Cantieri Officine Savoia, Dynamit Nobel, Geo, Fassati and C., Lloyd Italico, Nazionale di Navigazione, Pamilio, Societa Idro. Electrica Negri, and Transatlantica Italiana. Topic: <laughs> Fascism and World War II. Following a financial crisis with its largest creditor, Banca Italiana di Sconto, and problems in reconverting factories after the end of World War I, the Peroni family abandoned the company in 1921, and the Banca d'Italia led a consortium to save it from bankruptcy. Company strategies were drastically sized down, and during the 1920s, even though electro-mechanical productions grew significantly, Insaldo found itself in such dire difficulties that it finally entered the control of the Istituto per la Ricostruzione Industriale (IRI), under which the company found new life and growth, partly thanks to the new war effort during fascism. The main figure in this rebirth, the engineer Agostino Rocca, reconfigured the structure and organization of the company during his tenure as chief executive officer from 1935 to the end of World War II. War contracts indeed led to a significant growth. Insaldo had 22,000 employees in 1939, and 35,000 in 1943. Topic: After World War II. After the end of World War II, conversion to peacetime production again caused problems for the company. In 1948, IRI entrusted the company to Finmeccanica, which operated several reorganization measures during the 1950s and 1960s, such as the relinquishing of all shipbuilding activities to a Talcantieri of Trieste in 1966. From that year, Finmeccanica further engaged in saldo within its activities, and in 1980 they formed Italy's largest thermo-electric group. In 1993, Insaldo ceased to exist as an independent entity, having been completely absorbed by Finmeccanica.
Topic: Ensaldo today. Some companies controlled by Finmeccanica, now Leonardo SPA, still bear the Ensaldo family name. Ensaldo Energia, involved in building electric power plants, based in Genoa. Ensaldo Caldi, involved in building fired steam generators. Sofinter Group, private company located in Gallarat, Italy. Ensaldo Ricerche, involved in nuclear fusion technology, founded in 1987 by merging various research and development departments of Ensaldo and Nuclear Italiana Riatori Avanzati, it takes part in the International ITER project. Ensaldo Fuel Cells, founded in 1993 as a spin off of the former, devoted to fuel cells. Ensaldo Nuclear, founded in 1989 by merging Ensaldo Meccanico Nuclear and Nuclear Italiana Riatori Avanzati, in 1999, it was absorbed by Ensaldo Energia, but in 2005 it was refounded as a separate company, although 100% controlled by Ensaldo Energia. Ansaldo Breda S.P.A., a train building company born from the merger of Ansaldo Trasporti and Breda Ferroviaria. Ansaldo STS, railway signaling systems. Nidec AC, formerly Ansaldo Industrial Systems. Former Finmeccanica company, sold to the Japanese Nidec Group. In 2012, Nidec acquired Ensaldo Sistemi Industriali Spa and becomes Nidec AC SPA. Nidec AC is a manufacturer of electric motors. Their products are found in electrical engineering, electric motors and generators, control systems, and automation for industrial applications. Nidec AC is headquartered in Milan and has different subsidiaries in Italy in Genoa, Montebello Vicentino, Monfalcone and abroad in China, France, Germany, Romania, Russia, Japan and Singapore. Products <laughs> 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 Topic: Aircraft production. Ensaldo Baby, 1915, single-seat biplane reconnaissance floatplane, a British SOP with Baby built under license with minor changes. Ensaldo A.1 Balilla, 1917, single-engine one-seat biplane fighter aircraft. Ensaldo SVA.1 1917 single engine one seat biplane utility aircraft SVA.2 production version of SVA.1 SVA.3 fast climbing interceptor version of SVA.2 SVA.4 production version of SVA.2 equipped for reconnaissance SVA.5 production version of SVA.2 SVA.6 prototype bomber version of SVA.2 SVA.8 single prototype, purpose unknown SVA.9 two-seat unarmed reconnaissance version with larger wings SVA.10 armed version of SVA.9 Ensaldo A.120 parasol reconnaissance fighter Ensaldo A.300 single engine two seat biplane utility aircraft Three seat versions were also built for reconnaissance use Ensaldo AC.1 designation for imported French Duatin D.1 single engine two seat parasol wing fighter Ensaldo AC.2 license built French Duatin D.1 
Ensaldo AC.3 license built French Duatin D.9 a development of the D.1 Ensaldo AC.4 AC.2 with 420 horsepower 313.2 kilowatts Fiat A.20 engine Topic Ships RN Giuseppe Garibaldi, cruiser built for the Regia Marina, 1899. RN Giulio Cesare, battleship built for the Regia Marina, 1911. SS Roma, built for the Navigazione Generale Italiana, 1926. RN Alberico da Barbiano, cruiser built for the Regia Marina, 1930 RN Alberto da Giussano, cruiser built for the Regia Marina, 1930 RN Bartolomeo Colioni, cruiser built for the Regia Marina, 1930 SS Rex, built for the Italian Line, 1931 RN Raimondo Montecuccoli, cruiser built for the Regia Marina, 1934 RN Eugenio di Savoia, cruiser built for the Regia Marina, 1935 RN Littorio, battleship built for the Regia Marina, 1937 RN Aquila, aircraft carrier built for the Regia Marina, 1941 SS Andrea Doria, Ensaldo Shipyards of Genoa, 1951 SS Leonardo da Vinci, built for the Italian Line, 1960 SS Michelangelo, built for the Italian Line, 1965 Rolling stock Topic: Locomotives. D.341, D.345, E.424, D.443, E.402, E.428, E.491, E.492. E.636 E656 Topic See also Finmeccanica Insaldo Energia Insaldo STS Ansaldo Breda